All right, what's going on, everyone? We got Russ and Vic. We're going to do a blood pressure, an auscultated blood pressure. Um, to start off, we want to ensure that our sphygmometer um, is on zero, that the dial is on zero, and that means it's centered. If it's off zero, then you're going to need another uh, blood pressure cuff. And then your stethoscope. So your stethoscope, um, if it has directionality to its ears, you're going to want to apply those in front of you. So you want these tips right here to be facing in front of you. So if I were to apply it to myself, it would be away from me, but in front of me. Um, and then when you apply them in your ear, you want to ensure that the um, diaphragm is on the right side. So you can twist the top of this diaphragm and tap gently on each side to ensure that you're on the right side. All right. So Russ is going to take my blood pressure. So Russ is going to set herself up for success. Um, with the sphygmomanometer, there is a clip on the back side that you can apply um, to your shirt or to the blood pressure cuff as well. And then when you do apply the um, cuff, you want to ensure that these arrows are right on the odds, um, center of your arm right here because these arrows indicate the center of the bladder of the blood pressure cuff. So Russ, take it away. And the whole idea of a blood pressure, guys, is that you're getting two numbers um, and you're pumping up this blood pressure cuff to an arbitrary blood pressure that cuts off circulation. You're creating a tourniquet. And in doing so, you're going to create turbulent blood flow. Turbulent blood flow meaning um, blood is backing up and it's not allowed to circulate. All right, maybe I'll hold it for you. Um, And when you're slowly deflating that cough, you see this ticker going down, you're eventually going to hear it again. So Russ got 110 over 78. Let's do it one more time, Russ, and I just won't say anything. I'll just shut up. But after you first hear it, um, you're going to continue hearing it. It's going to feel sound like a heartbeat, like beat, 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 beat. And it's going to eventually disappear because that turbulent blood flow is no longer turbulent. It becomes laminar blood flow. So the moment you first heard it is the first number. And the moment it disappears, it's its second number. All right, I'm going to shut up real quick. One hundred over seventy-eight. All right. Um, hope you got something out of it. That was just the auscultated blood pressure. Um, I guess while we're here, let's do a palpated blood pressure. Right. So in situations where you might be unable to hear um, a blood pressure, or your patient is in a very highly contracted position to where you don't have access with your stethoscope, a palpated blood pressure is a good alternative option to that. So you would apply the blood pressure cuff the same way. You're good. Um, and uh, if, let's say the patient's arm is too small and the cuff is sliding up and down, you can inflate the cuff um, just enough to get yourself the rest of your stuff situated, right? And then um, if I wasn't here holding this, then Russ can apply this up here. But the idea is that, um, I guess you can, we can just show it on the big screen, but Russ is uh, palpating my radial artery, finding that pulse. So the cuff isn't tight enough to be a tourniquet yet, so there's still circulation going to my hand. But once Russ has located that pulse, then uh, you're gonna inflate it to an arbitrary number that can uh, cause that turbulent blood flow. So go ahead and do so, Russ. And then the number it comes back at is the systolic blood pressure. So Russ is slowly deflating the cuff. And when you feel that pulse return, that is the amount of pressure your heart needs to generate to make it through this tourniquet that you just created. 
And for obvious reasons, you will never lose that pulse um, if the patient is truly alive. And that's why we document it as systolic blood pressure over P or PALP, P-A-L-P. Hope that helped. Hope this video came out okay. It was uh, very tricky to set this up. Um, but if you have any questions, leave them in the area below. We'll see you in the next one.